Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Margaret Zimba and I'm back again with another video. Today we are going to be talking about something very interesting. It's not that I'm the most um, successful person when looking for a job here in Australia, but I've had a few jobs here and there, so I think I can give you guys a bit of tips when looking for a job in Australia, more specifically in Canberra or in Sydney because that's where I am located or situated or that's where I've been able to be successful in getting a job. And yeah, if you guys want to know my tips and tricks, or what I've gone through when looking for a job, please stay tuned and watch the rest of this video. For me, while looking for a job in Australia, it entirely depends on what visa I'm on. So before I graduated uni, I was on a student visa. A student visa only allows me to get 40 hours a fortnight for work so that is limiting looking for proper jobs because many employers maybe want full-time employees and when you are on a student visa you cannot get um a full-time job because of the 40 hours a uh, fortnight work limit so that's first thing you have to think about what visa are you on if you're on a student visa not you can't really get a full-time job because your full-time job is your studies so focus on that sis and then after that you can focus on getting a full-time job so after transitioning to um a graduate <laughs> a graduate it feels good to say that because i've actually struggled to get to this place anyway um after transitioning to be a graduate now i'm on a graduate visa so this visa allows me to get a full-time job so it gives you an upper hand when looking for a job because now you're able to tell the employer that you're able to work unlimited hours when looking for a job and that like gives you an upper hand when seeking employment so don't feel discouraged on your student visa because you can definitely work casual jobs or part-time jobs but um it's usually hectic and so stressful because sometimes the money that you get from your part-time work won't be enough to like sustain you but um yeah so obviously you have to work hard in school and then after you graduate that's when you can get a full-time job i'm talking from an international student's point of view because that's where i'm coming from so um, i'm talking to um international students because that's where like i can relate to most but this video is for anyone so another thing that you have to keep in mind is the competition there's a lot of competition when looking for a job for example now that i finished my science degree I, I started looking for a job within my career but if you think about it a science degree is very broad and i just have a bachelor's degree but when you're looking for a job there are people with master's degrees phds there are people with so many certificates you're like bruh like where am i gonna fit in into this job space so be aware that there is competition Competition and you should trust and believe in yourself and just pray to your God because that's um, one thing that's very very difficult to be aware of especially when seeking a job know that there's competition but continue searching regardless of competition but it's important to be aware that there is competition there are people with so many certificates people with so many degrees but that doesn't put you down that doesn't put you anywhere less it depends on your work ethic so if you're able to get an interview kill it kill it kill it it doesn't matter if other people are bachelor's degrees or masters because sometimes when you're searching on platforms like linkedin they tell you 60 percent of the people have phds who have applied for this job 20 percent have master's degrees and 10 percent have bachelor's degrees so if you think about that that um sometimes can make you a bit scared can put you a bit down but don't think about that because regardless you're still suitable for the job you might even be better than the person who has a master's degree or a phd sometimes those are just papers what matters is your work ethic but it is important to be aware that there is high competition in all job sectors or industries so just be aware of that 
Another now tip for looking for a job here in Australia is put yourself out there. I feel like the way people get jobs and how I have realized people get jobs is networking. When you know a lot of people, you're put in a lot of scenarios. You know the quote that says, um, have friends who will mention you in important rooms? That's exactly it. It is important to network and put yourself out there. I struggled with that because I don't know a lot of people here in Australia. So like networking is a bit hard, but it's important. It's very important. Make friends. Don't be like me, guys. Make friends. And those friends might mention you in rooms that are important for you and might like put you out there so it's important to network know people because that's when you'll know um people who work in your industry people who don't even work in your industry but might know people who work in that industry so it's important to network and put yourself out there so that when an opportunity comes you grab it by the horns network know a lot of people because more doors will be opened with more people in your life it's important to and make your CV and your cover letter look as professional as possible. Present it the best you can. Seek advice from people who are in your industry or maybe your supervisor or your manager. Ask them, hey, do you think this CV is pro professional enough for me to present to um, this person in this industry because I'm looking to maybe upgrade in my career or maybe get a promotion or like just try and seek advice on your cv and your cover letter because i i'm sure that people will give you different inputs that might impact you and might help you out so it's important to seek advice about your cv and tailor your cv according to the position that you're looking for according to the career that you are looking for it's very very important tailor your cv they don't use the same cv you're using to apply to mcdonald's as the same CV you use to apply for a marketing agent or a research scientist or whatever you're applying for, it can't be the same. You have to tailor each to uh, according to what you are applying for. Another tip that I'm gonna give you guys, and this I know is very, very hard, is prepare for rejections. I feel like I'm in that boat right now because every time you're applying for jobs, every time you're seeking jobs, you're like, unfortunately, you're um, unfortunately, your skills did not match the skills that you're looking for. Unfortunately, we're seeking someone with more experience than you. I'm like, bruh, how will I get the experience? If you guys are not willing to give me the experience, how will my skills match with you guys if you guys are not willing to help me out? You know what I mean? And sometimes you find like companies who are seeking for graduates or interns and then you present yourself and you're like with those same same skills that they're looking for, like the skills that they're looking for and the skills that you have match like this and then they still tell you like you're not qualified or you're not suitable enough for that job position and you're left like, oh, Oh my god like what the hell do i have to do to get a job and those ones those rejections will come in abundance and i'm not manifesting that i'm not manifesting that don't get me wrong but those rejections are there but it's up to you to take them as motivation to continue applying for jobs continue applying for jobs continue applying and you will still you will receive that call that you've been looking for and that helps you practice patience because for me i'm a very impatient person when i want a job i want it now now but who am i whom am i to tell god give me this job now 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 you have to wait for his time regardless or if you want the job now if you don't there's nothing you can do about it other than be patient so my third tip for today is prepare for rejection prepare for rejection but that rejection shouldn't put you down that rejection should motivate you to continue applying and keep applying now i've developed a system in my head where i tell myself okay like it's fine that one wasn't even meant for me so it's okay mine is coming and preparation sometimes the delay the delays that are in your life are preparing you for the success that is to come give me an amen amen and the church said amen the delays in your life are preparing you for the success that is to come so prepare for rejections but those rejections should make you work harder apply more and you will see the success that you're looking for and um, my final tip would be 
apply 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 like consistently let me tell you in a day put out 30 resumes in a day send out those cvs and your cover letters to as many companies as you can sometimes i've said i send out so many cvs until like when you go to seek or indeed or whatever you just see applied 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 until you have no more jobs to apply for so apply 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 like don't lose heart like apply use as many platforms as you can and i realized that linkedin linkedin is a really good platform to use when applying for jobs especially when you subscribe to uh, linkedin premium it's really really good for job applications because they give you the job description and you can send the person who's um in hr or send the recruiter a personalized message um regarding the vacant position that has been put forward so linkedin is a very good platform to apply for jobs seek is also another good platform to apply for jobs indeed i don't use it as much because i think um seek and indeed are quite similar so i just use linkedin and seek linkedin and seek like apply 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 30 resumes a day don't get tired bro I feel like in your free time, you should dedicate that to looking for work because sometimes looking for a job is a full-time job. Like looking for employment is an actual full-time job. So I encourage you guys to like set days aside where you sit down, apply for jobs, sit down, apply for jobs because you have to tailor your resume. You have to read the job description. Sometimes it's very tiring. So you have to actually sit down and dedicate time to it. Don't just do it quick, 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 quick. Sometimes even for me, that's one of my faults sometimes i get tired of reading sometimes i get tired of applying and remember don't frustrate yourself if you're tired of applying give yourself a break don't do it consistently till you go crazy just give yourself a break whenever you can continue you can restart doing it when you reset when you're recharged do it okay okay so those are my few tips when looking for a job here in australia that's how i feel like I what has helped me look for a job and get a few jobs that I've gotten here in Australia if you want me to discuss anything else in my channel please come leave it down in the comment section down below I thank you guys for all the guys who watch my videos I love you guys and don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video see ya